Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Economox Garage. Come on in. Well, in a previous video, I installed the seat belts and I mentioned that I wasn't overly impressed with the thickness of these washers. So rather than replace them, I've decided to supplement them with these, these washers here. These are a little thicker and they have a cup in them. They're, they're actually washers from the rear shock mount on a Ford Festivo. So these are, these are thicker uh, and they have this rib around them for a bit of reinforcing. This will be a lot stronger with, than with just that single thinner washer. And while I'm on the subject of washers for the seatbelt bolts, the ones for the shoulder belt bracket didn't have any washers at all. So what I've done is I've taken some, I have some one and a half inch bar stock. I think that's about an eighth of an inch or so thick. I just cut some squares out and just bent them a little bit to follow the curve of the wheel arch. So I'm much happier now with the attachment of the shoulder strap brackets. Well, now that I have the seat belts all sorted out, I'm going to get the harness for the rear of the car installed. When I pulled the original out, I pulled through some line from a weed eater or weed whacker, whatever you want to call it. And so it goes down up through here, up over the arch, and then out uh, through that triangular opening right there. So this is the one that runs up to the firewall and it's all coiled up here. Uh, we get to the back of the car. Yeah, so these two wires go to the the signal light at the back, that's the small uh, beehive one. And then this wire, this set of wires goes to the brake and tail lamp. And you come across to the middle here. Uh, the green wire is for the fuel sender. And the black and red wires go to the license plate light. When I ordered this from AutoSparks in the UK, I asked them to put a wire in to the harness for the electric fuel pump. So that's this wire here. And then it's the purple, white with purple, so that's this wire coming out at the other end. And there's a corresponding uh, wire in the harness uh, for the front part of the car. Okay. I am going to wrap this end up and tape it to the end of the uh, weed eater line and pull it through. It'll go up into that space right there, over the arch, and come out of that one there. And then the, the routing for that, it goes down to the floor, up and over the floor here, and up uh, the, the side panel. You can see there's a couple of, uh, there's a P-clip right there, and another clip uh, just above it. And, and it'll go up there and meet the rest of the wiring harness. So I also have on hand here um, a color version of the wiring diagram. I had uh, a friend comment that he has more wires in the seat of his Cadillac uh, than this car has. I'm going to climb back in here, take the harness up to that line, and get it pulled through. Well, I have the harness now installed in the back. You can see just over here, going to the left side lights, through the license plate light, and then there's the two wires going down through the floor over here, and then the wires on the other side. And the harness comes up over this side here, 
and out right here and then goes across here and then up into the big hole through here through the firewall now the main harness has a big grommet and this will be part of that uh, but that's a, a step for another day on the outside I've got the wires uh, sticking out their appropriate holes and you can just see the fuel pump wire hanging down there uh, license plate light and wires in the right spot I'm not going to install the lights until I've actually polished uh, the car and that'll be in another couple of weeks here uh, so once I've got it polished I can in install and hook up the lights properly also once I have it polished I can install a fuel tank I want to wait till after it's polished because this hole is where the gas filler pipe comes up and there's a large rubber grommet that goes around here. I'm looking forward to getting the the actual the Sprite badge on. There's the two holes for it and I've picked up a new one of those. But again, that'll have to wait till I have the car polished. Well, here you can see the uh, back part of the wiring harness where it comes through the firewall. There is a grommet on the main part of the harness that I'll show you in a minute here. So this section here wasn't the first part of the harness that I've installed. In an earlier video, I refurbished the dimmer switch and ran the wiring for that, and that terminates here and just runs down underneath the battery tray over here, across the bottom of the master cylinder, and then down into the footwell there. There's uh, two or three more pieces to go in, so although I'm not going to install those uh, this week. And I'll show you what's left to install of the wiring harness. So here's the rest of the, the wiring harness, and as I mentioned earlier, it was made uh, in England by AutoSparks, and I'll have the link in the description below. So it's part number 721SP. Okay, that's the main part. So there's a section, this is the wiring, section of the wiring harness that goes to all the front lights, the headlights, and what have you. Uh, that's the main part of that harness. These are the two harnesses that hook up to the headlights specifically. I've added those to the order. So these plug into the... There's the headlight plug. And then here's the connectors that plug into the harness itself. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to run that because, because I am going to have the front tilt hinges on the bonnet rather than the original hinges at the firewall. So I might have to make some adjustments to this. But you can see it's nicely wrapped in an original looking uh, type of cotton fabric and all original type connectors. I'm really happy with the quality of the product and with the service I got from them. So I'll just put that one aside. And here's the main harness. And you can see there's the, the grommet that goes through the firewall. This side here, all of this stuff here is, goes to the, the dashboard. And then there's the grommet, and then the rest of this is all in the engine compartment. Uh, a lot of these plugs are where that rear harness will plug in. And then here's the line. I believe that's the line for the fuel pump. Yep, uh, the purple stripe on the white wire. So that's the fuel pump wire. I'll just have to get instructions as to where that hooks up. The colors are all as per stock. Um, I will, I believe I'm going to need to get some... Uh, uh, connectors and that. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly how these ones uh, hook up, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So I'm not going to install these just yet. Uh, there's still uh, some other work I want to get done before this goes into the car, but I just thought I'd give you a quick overview uh, um, of this part of the harness. And that wraps up this episode in our Bug Eye build. Thank you so much for joining me. Come back next week when the plan is to get the engine and gearbox made it up and back in the car. If you've enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell icon. Click on that and you'll get notified when the next video comes out. I just want to say a big thank you to all of those that have already subscribed. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.